0052. We have Iverson. Um, let me get everyone, bear with me just. Let me get everyone who may test me in the tell matter. If yes. you raise your right yes, hand. Yes, yes. All right. Thank you. That's everyone. Uh, Ms. Adams, you may proceed. I call Nicole Adams. Nicole Adams, CPS caseworker. Nicole, I was able to see you earlier, but now I can't see you. Can you just explain? One second. Let me see if I okay. can. Okay, great. Thank you. Know. Are you the uh, caseworker for this child? Yes, I'm the caseworker for this child. All right. And are we close to adoption? Yes, we're just waiting for a date, um, adoption date. All right. Let's then let's go through all of the all the steps. Is, is the child in any psychotropic medication? No. Is the child in their forever home? Yes. Um, have they had any medical or dental needs that we need to address? No, no medical and dental needs. But are they up to date on other medical and dental? Up to date on all medical and dentals. Is the child in school? Um, she goes to daycare during the work day. And how is that working out? She's uh, actually saw her in daycare last week or the week before. Um, I love the daycare. She's um, great with her peers, um, but she's doing really well in daycare. All right. Um, is everybody ready for this adoption to occur? Yes, everybody's ready. Pass the witness. All right. Thank you. Uh, um, I can't hear what the... I'm sorry. Um, Ms. Ammon? Ms. Ammon? Hello? Ms. Ammon, yes, can sir. you hear me? I'm running a little late. I didn't have a ride, but... Ms. Your case, your case has been suited it's been dismissed, so you are free to go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great job. Okay, stand by just... Uh, we go. Sorry about that. Ms. Iverson, any questions of Ms. Nicole Adams? Just a few. How long has the child been in her current placement? She's been there since winter 2023. And oh, what other children? Hello? And what other children? And what other children are in the home? Um, they have dads, two children, I believe on the weekends or every other weekend, but primarily it's just her. And they have, a, uh, they, they do intend to adopt. Yes. As soon as possible. Yes. What, if any, is the hold up to, to having that happen? Um, we were set for five, actually today. Um, but dad, he had a work commitment. And so, um, I know we were just trying to get a new date from the court. Okay. That's what Okay. Thank you. Back to you, Ms. Adams. No further questions. All right. You may call your next, if any. Tracy Martin. Yes, ma'am. Um, just tell us what you feel like you, we need to know about this child. What's going on with their life? She is so happy where she is. She is loved. This is her forever home. Everybody's just ready to get this show on the road. Wonderful. And so you're asking for the placement to be maintained? Yes. That in the meantime, the department is um, stays the permanent managing conservator? Yes. And you're ready for the adopt. You're ready to be invited to the adoption. I am so ready. <laughs> Pass the witness. All right. Thank you. Ms. Iverson? Uh, no further questions, John. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Martin. Any uh, Anything else from anyone else? All right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you all very much for your long and hard and good work on this case. Um, I'm going to um, set our next hearing uh, in hopes that we, we uh, do not need it, but uh, October the 7th, October the 7th. Uh, at 9 a.m. will be our next permanency review after final order. Um, certainly, we expect and hope the adoption to be consummated by then. Uh, until then, the department uh, shall remain the permanent managing conservator. Placement uh, shall and the court approves of the department's primary permanency goal. So thank you, you all very much. And hopefully we'll see you very, very soon at the adoption. And um, 
I will sign an order to that effect. Okay. Thank you. So that will be you all quite right, uh, quick. So well, let me I go. don't know that it will be quite quick because I, I do. Okay, I have not heard from the department. I did reach out to them on Thursday, but I haven't heard back. So I don't know what where we're at. Okay, just okay. So just a moment. I'm going to, um, I'm going to bet that it might be quick. So am I going to like it? Okay, then let's go. Well, I think that would be the only way in the world it would be quick. <laughs> well, that's fair. That's very fair. Okay. So, okay. so uh, in the meantime, my point is, Ms. Iverson, if you can go ahead and make arrangements uh, for the child uh, uh, to be set up to confer with me uh, in the school matter, and hopefully I will get to that next. 9-3, okay. Department of Family and Protective Services versus Brittany Mooney. Um, uh, announcements, uh, Ms. Adams? Your Honor, the department at this time, based on the acts of the parties since we filed the petition, would like to ask for a dismissal. All right. Uh, very good. The court will note that both uh, Brittany Mooney and Darren Mooney are present. Well, let me confirm. I, I believe I saw Ms. Mooney. I thought I did. Ms. Moore, is uh, Ms. Mooney here? I saw her earlier. I, oh, I there she is. Brittany Mooney. Oh, there there we are. All right, very good. Um, okay, any uh, any response, Ms. Moore? Are you um, in agreement? We are in agreement. All right, thank you. What about uh, what about you, Ms. Drowsdale? There's no objection. Okay, all right. So, um, Mr. and Ms. Mooney, thank you very much for your um, cooperation and uh, your work and your compliance. And we, we wish you and uh, your family the, the very best. And I, I will find it in the best interest of the children to non-suit this, sign a non-suit or dismissal um, rather. And um, you all are excused and, and free to go and please please take care. Thank you, Judge. Okay, all right, Ms. Adams, thank you. Before final order, uh, the court will note that the mother, Cassandra Wells, is present. And uh, I believe I saw uh, Mr. Cook, Russell Cook. Yes, sir, if you will uh, wave your hand, to let me know that you are there and that you hear me. Thank you very much. And Ms. White, you are still with us, correct? I there am, you. Your Honor. There are you. I see you now. Okay. Uh, the screens move around, as you know. Okay. All right. So let me get uh, everyone uh, sworn in. Please raise your right hands. Yes. All right. Thank you. Okay. Ms. Adams, you may proceed. Yes, Your Honor. I call Giovanni Franklin. Good morning. Good morning. Are you the caseworker for these three kids? Yes, I am. And where are they currently placed? They're currently placed in a kinship placement with their grandmother. And how are they doing? They are doing very well. Are any of the children on psychotropic medic medicines? No. Are they all up to date on their um, medical and dental? Yes. Are um, any of them in school? Yes, the older two. TC and, how are, and Casey. And how are they doing? They are doing great. And um, Casey is actually getting ready for her graduation. From from high school? Kindergarten. Oh, I, <laughs> okay. That, mm -hmm. All right. Uh, there's lots of graduations now. So yes. <laughs> um, that is wonderful. Are they looking forward to summer? They are. Um, let's talk about um, mom. How is she doing? She is doing great. She's currently in rehab. Um, she looks great. She sounds great. She's working the program and she's excited about her progress. And are you excited about her progress? Very much so. All right. What's the permanency goal in this case? Um, permanency goal is um, relative fictive can conservatorship and family unification. All right. Um, what about the, um, is there one or more fathers? Just one, Mr. Cook. And um, it, does he have a, per does he have a service plan? Yes, he does. And he's actually almost completed with his um, plan. Also, he completed his rehab. Um, he's currently waiting on a final OK in order to start a job. And the only thing he has to complete is a portion of his parenting classes. OK, so is is he getting to visit the children? Not yet. He actually just got a rehab last week. And so we're in the process of getting that taken care of. But he is doing great and looks great also. What do you expect the visits with him to be like? Um, hopefully we can start back to the once a week and um, at the CPS office. 
I'm hoping that they can progress back to before if it happens before he has to leave his job where the family was actually supervising the visits and he was able to see the kids twice a week since they're out of, getting ready to be out of school. Um, are the parents a couple? Yes, they are. Okay. Um, and working through the issues with that as well. Absolutely. Probably. Yes. Good morning. This is Ms. Morrow. I'm the associate principal of Skyen, and I'm getting her set up on here. Is she okay right. to attend at this point? Uh, what I will do is place her in a, uh, a, excuse me just a moment. I'll place her in, you all in the, back in the waiting room, and we will get to her case as soon as we finish this hearing. But thank okay. you. Thank very you good. Very, thank you very much. Apologies. Uh, you may continue, Ms. Adams. All right. So um, as far as their progression on their service plans, would you say that both parents are compliant? Yes. Pass witness. All right. Thank you, Ms. Moore. Um, Giovanni, I know that you took the children to visit my client. I believe it. How long ago was it? Two weeks ago? Actually, it was the aunt and grandmother. It was two weeks ago on the 13th, April 13th. Okay. And they had a two hour visit with their mom, right? Yes. Now prior, and she's been in treatment for about 42 days. Is that right? I think right at, yes. Okay. <clears throat> prior to her going in, there was some difficulty for different reasons with her being able to have her visits. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. What is the plan going forward for her visits with her children? Actually, right now, the plan allows, um, the program allows for her to have a two hour visit on Saturdays. So however that looks with grandma and aunt with us working transportation between us three, however often, I mean, I, I have no issues. It's just a logistics issues right now with the kids being in school. Once they're actually out of school, I'm more than sure that they can be more often and regular. But um, however the well, program goes. Well, but the visits are on Saturday. So I, how does school interfere with that? No, no, no. I said once they're out of school, before um, the counselor did inform me that the kids could visit. Okay. The counselor at the, are you frozen? But because they were in school, that's like. You're talking about the counselor at Santa Maria or the children's counselor? Correct. No, no, counselor at Santa Maria. Okay. All right. But you're not saying that their school at this point is going to de determine or have an effect on go for visits going forward? No, 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 not at all. So even as soon as this Saturday, she could start having weekly two-hour Saturday visits, correct? Correct. If that works with Miss Bell's schedule, I can't make her schedule for her, but she actually, she can, and they are allowed for two hours. Okay. So if the court were to order that she has those two-hour visits, are you, you're willing to help the family as far as transportation if it's needed? Absolutely. Okay. And you'd be in favor of those two-hour visits weekly? I don't have a problem with them. Okay. Um, how would the department feel? And I'm not asking right now. Um, I'm saying going forward, maybe at some point this summer, if she continues to do well and her counselor in Santa Maria believes that she's made enough progress that it would be okay, how would the department feel about having the children live with her at Santa Maria? That is something that I would have to get approved. So whatever my supervisor says, I would be in favor of. Okay. Um, if her counselor were to uh, believe that she had made the progress, you don't see, have any safety concerns as far as Santa Maria, do you? No. Okay. You've been there before? Not in this case, but before, yes. Right. And you're in other cases, you're familiar with kind of how the program works, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, thank you very much. I'll pass the witness. All right. Thank you, Ms. White. Thank you, uh, Ms. Franklin. Do you have any opposition with the uh, father meeting with the child beginning next week? No. Okay. And do you see any barriers with regard to his visitation? We're taking a trial, a no. male enhancement pill, and hello. Go go ahead, Ms. White. What barriers do you see, if any, with regard to the father's visitation with the children? None at this time, maybe just um, scheduling, but other than that, nothing. Do you have any opposition to the family uh, supervising the visitation at this point? I have no issue with going back to that as long as my supervisor has no issue with it. All right. I pass the witness, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Ms. Travisdale. 
Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, at this time, are you aware of any needs that these children have in the current placement that are not being met? No, not at this time. Okay. And so to your understanding that CPS has provided them with all the resources that they may possibly need at this time? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And um, you said that you've, I believe you said you've been to Santa Maria and spoken with them about the possibility of the children residing with mom. Have you spoken to Santa Maria about that? No, ma'am. We have not spoken about that being a transition. That was just something that was proposed as an option moving forward. Okay. And how long, how much longer does mom have in this program? About 40 some odd days. Her total program is a 90 day program. So she's yeah. pretty much halfway. Okay. So if the children did go to stay with her there, it would just be during the summer months, correct? That's correct. Yeah, that's good. That's not mm -hmm. Thank you. I pass the witness. All right. Thank you. Back to you, Ms. Adams. No questions, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. You may call your next, if any. Uh, no further questions. No further witnesses. All right. Thank you. Um, Ms. Moore, you may call your first, if any. I'll call my client. Ms. Wells, can you okay. hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I just wanted you to tell the court how you're doing. Um, so I've been here 42 days. Uh, I've just been working the program. Um, really focusing on me because I know last time I failed with my kids at Benita House. So this time I'm just like focused mainly on me. Um, I got a coach. Um, I've got a sponsor. We're just now on like the fourth step, but she plans to meet with me today so we can work through the fourth and fifth step in the alcohol anonymous book or whatever. And so I've just been working the program, just been focused on recovery because I know my kids need me. How are you feeling? I feel good. I'm, uh, um, I just I stay in a positive state so that way I don't get no negativity and just get depressed. And you're not having contact with anybody on the outside, are you? No. You, the visit, how did you enjoy the visit with your children? Um, it was great. Like it was wonderful. Um, because, you know, we had to wear the, the suits, like dressing up like a surgeon and like, it was just the first time I got to fill them with no gloves and like the first time I had to actually kiss them. So it was good. Did they enjoy it? Oh yeah. They had a blast. Paisley, she was here with me. <laughs> she what? We, okay. So we painted rocks with my paint markers and Paisley, she was telling my mom and my aunt bye. And she was like trying to come boot, like back to the security thing to come to me. She thought she could stay with me. So then she took a rock home down her shirt because she was mad because she couldn't stay with me. But <laughs> Justin and Kylie, they had a blast. Like we, we just, we laughed the whole entire time. It was really Are fun. Are you wanting those visits to happen every Saturday? Um, if they, if they can, I know they have a life too. So I'm just going to go by what my aunt can provide. Okay. But it would be your preference if you could have, if you could see the kids weekly, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, is there anything else that you want to let the court know? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Well, you're doing great. And I think everybody here, I know that I am very proud of you and can see your progress. So keep it up. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Pass with us. All right. Thank you, Ms. White. I have no questions of this witness, Your Honor. Thank you, Ms. Trousdale. I don't have any questions, but um, I'm very, very proud of you, Ms. Wells. You're doing thank awesome. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Ms. Adams. No, for the question, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. All right. Any other witnesses, Ms. Moore? Um, I would like to call Ms. Uh, Mila Rios. Ms. Moore, you may proceed. Ms. Rios, can you very briefly let the court know how Ms. Wells is doing? Absolutely. <clears throat> I would definitely say her progress from day one to now has been a complete 180. Right now, Ms. Wells is focused on her family plan and making sure she meets those needs of the family plan. So right now, we're just addressing a lot of the things that she hadn't addressed before in treatment prior to coming into Santa Maria now currently. Um, right now, she's focused on going into sober living. She's very focused on her steps currently with her sponsor. She's attained a coach. She's building her sober network, which is something she lacked prior. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I will note is that she is very solely focused on, you know, making sure that she can meet the needs of her kids by meeting her needs first currently, which is the perfect opportunity for her in this moment of time. 
So right now, I would say, she, no, you can. Do you believe that she is recognizing kind of the issues and taking responsibility for that? Absolutely. Um, from day one to now, um, we've had kind of moments where it's like, okay, we have to hold ourselves accountable here. Um, she'll come back and she'll see, oh yeah, this is where I messed up. This is where I have had flaws in the past. This is how I'm, I'm going about it this time around. Um, just in regards to her asking for help because she didn't know what help was like prior or, you know, um, she, it took a while for her to ask for help. Um, so now she's in a point where we're working on relapse prevention. We are also moving forward with thinking about sober living uh, momentarily um, just to okay. get her more counseling. Okay, hold on one second. So would you say that at this point, the progress that she's made in roughly 42 days has been satisfactory for you? Absolutely. Have you seen a complete change in who she has, is as a person from day one to now? Absolutely. I'll pass away this. All right, thank you. Any questions from anyone for Ms. Rios? No, Your Honor. Ms. Rios? Yes, I, I, Your Honor. Are you familiar with Mr. Cook's relationship with the children? Yes. Okay, and how would you describe his progress? Um, to my knowledge, working with CPS and also working with Ms. Wells, um, I would say this is probably the best, the best opportunity for both of them at this time, that both parents are on the same page. Okay, and would you see any problems with Mr. Cook and Ms. Wells visiting with the children at the same time? No. Okay, and do you feel like it would be necessary that his visitation be supervised by CPS at the CPS office? I pass the witness, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Uh, Ms. Trousdale, any questions of Ms. Rios? No, sir. Okay, thank you. Ms. Adams? No, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Ms. Ms. Moore, back to you. I have no other witnesses, Judge. All right, uh, Ms. Rios, thank you very much for your time and all the work that you do. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you. All right, Ms. White, you may call your first, if any. I'd like to call Mr. Cook. All right, Mr. Cook, if we can get you unmuted, please, sir. Yes, Your Honor. There we go. Okay. And you uh, were in a treatment facility recently, were you not? Yes, ma'am. And how long were you in that facility? 28 days, I want to say. Okay. And how long has it been since you've seen your children? Man, it's been oh, for sure over months, oh, almost probably about 45 days. Okay. And you heard the testimony regarding your employment, correct? My testimony? No, I'm not sure of that. Of the other witnesses that you're going to be starting a new job soon, is that correct? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. And where will you be working at? Uh, in Alaska. All right. And when do you anticipate leaving for Alaska? Uh, as soon as I talk to my parole officer, hopefully later today. Okay. And do you know how long you'll be working in Alaska? Uh, to December 21st. Okay. So uh, how sh short of a window do we have for you to visit with your children prior to leaving? Uh, today, really. I should be leaving tonight. Some, they're trying to get me on a plane as soon as possible. Okay. And what are you asking the court to do with regard to your visitation before you leave? If I could have a visit today, that, that would be lovely, man. I would make my day. Okay. I pass the witness, Your Honor. All right, thank you, Ms. Trousdale. I don't have any questions to this witness other than good job, Dad. <laughs> I encourage you to continue down that road. All right, thank you, Ms. Adams. No questions, Your Honor. Okay, thank you, Ms. Moore. No questions. Okay, thank you. Back to you, Ms. White. Let's see, I have no other questions from any other witnesses, Your Honor. Okay, hey, all right, thank you. Um, Ms. Trousdale, you may call your first. I'd just like to call CASA quickly. All right, is Sorry. that, uh, that's Ms. King. Okay, thank you. Um, with regards to the visits with the children, at, at this time, what's CASA's recommendation? At the current time, our recommendation is to um, stay with placement 
they're, they're, um, they're doing well. They're doing well in school. Uh, their therapists. Well, never, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As far as visitation with the parents. Oh, I, I'm all for visitation. Okay. Do you have a specific recommendation? How often? If, if they can do, if they can accomplish weekly. That would be great. Okay. And do you think it would be best right now for mom to have visits and then for dad to have a separate visit? You know, I haven't had the opportunity to visit with dad yet. I've only been on the case for approximately five weeks. Um, but listening to the testimony of Giovanni and all the others who have been involved with the case from the beginning, it sounds like um, that would be okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I pass away. But I personally haven't met dad yet or mom. Okay. Fair enough. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Any questions from anyone for Ms. King? Thank you, Ron. All right. Uh, okay. Ms. King, thank you uh, very much. Any other witnesses, Ms. Drowsdale? No, sir. Okay. So, Ms. White, my understanding is your, your client may be leaving as soon as, well, today or tomorrow to yeah. his job in Alaska? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Um, Ms. Franklin, is, um, is it possible to arrange a supervised visit with him uh, and the children as soon as today? I'm not sure. I could make it work, but I think Miss Jordan is actually on. She's aunt. Her and Miss Bell would take care of the transportation because the kids normally get home out of school at five if they don't pick them up. So I know that they're on. Uh, I, I can make see, it work. I do see Miss Jordan. Um, Ms. Adams, would the, well, Ms. Franklin, would you have any any issues with uh, a supervised visit taking place today between uh, the father and the children? No, I would just call the office to let them know I would be there after hours. I wouldn't have a problem doing it. Okay, and... Uh, you're you're wanting to supervise as opposed to uh, Ms. Jordan. Whatever could happen in terms of today, it may be easier for him to go see the kids there since the family is there. And if that works out better, that's also fine. I don't have a problem either way. Well, I want to make sure a that that you're okay with Ms. Jordan supervising, assuming she is, and we're about to see. But also, B, I don't want you to necessarily work out for hours. Absolutely. If she's available to do so, her and Mrs. Bell, I, I don't have an issue with it. All right. Very good. Thank you. Uh, so, Ms. Jordan, you've been listening. You, you've been sworn in. So uh, you think, you think, uh, the visit, the visit that, that I'm envisioning, could that take place today? Uh, yes, sir. And I, I think it would be really good. There's no way I could get the kids there to Liberty today. Just I have such a big workload. Um, I work from home. So and I have my daughter here, Miranda, and the grandmother here um, and great grandmother. So um, him coming here and visit would be great. Um, and then I, I just also want to say on Russell's behalf, for a lot of years, we have been at a disconnect, obviously, because of issues. But I will say for the first time in all of these years, Russell has come over here. He's worked over here a little bit for me. He is talking like a man. He's wanting to be responsible. He really misses those babies. And I have seen a better change in him than I ever have for the first time. Well, thank you. Thank you for that and, and all that, that you and uh, the grandma and the great-grandmother have done for, well, 250 days, uh, as far as I'm concerned. We, we cannot thank you all enough. And I'm going to speak to the parents' uh, progress in, in just a moment. But okay. what what time, given the children's schedule, your your household schedule, what, what time would be uh, good for the visit? Do y'all want to get the kids from school or do y'all want to wait till after? Well, what time would he might have to leave? Yeah, I don't know. Do y'all want to get him out? 
we go home of school and do it at like yeah we can four you want to do it at like four yeah because well, let, yeah. let me ask mr cook um yeah do you, do you believe that you have to leave tonight um as soon as i got to talk to my parole officer and see what she has to say about it and um but they were yeah, they're trying to get me honest. As soon as I get off the phone with y'all and I'll phone my parole officer, I'm calling my captain. Going from there. All right. So, Ms. Jordan, that would be uh, taking what what you were talking about with uh, the grandmother. That would be taking the children out of school like maybe an hour early. No, sir. It would be taking them out. What time do they get out? Oh, do they get out at 3.50? Yeah. So it would be roughly an hour. Yes, okay. sir. All right. And so... Uh, let me know if you're willing uh, to supervise the visits between Mr. Cook and the children. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure. All right. So what, what time would you like to have him over there? Uh, we can do it at four if he can do it at four. Okay. Mr. Cook, four, is four good with you? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And Ms. Jordan, are you willing and able to do it at least an hour? Anything beyond that, I'll leave it up to you. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Certainly, certainly no overnights, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, of course. Yeah, no problem. They can they can go outside, sit on the porch. We can all be out there. The kids can play, swim, whatever they want to do. Yeah, I'm, I have no issues with the time okay. restraint as far. And so I'm going to let Ms. Franklin visit with you when we're done here. Just sure. to give you a, a refresher or a primer. Yeah. On what it means to supervise. Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. Very, very yeah. And then I also wanted to say regarding Cassie, That's I amazing. hadn't been able to take the kids every I weekend like just because it it's a it's That's a feat. We have to drive around for a couple hours in Houston and it's an hour to get there, hour to get back. So it's been difficult, but um not this weekend, but next weekend I'm planning on taking them. And when I seen her and just her letters that she's written me. Um, she is really doing phenomenal too. So I'm super, super, super proud of her. Okay. Well, thank you for that. I'm not, I'm not at this time. I'm not going to order weekly visits. Oh, I, will, okay. I will. I will. I will permit weekly. Visits. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to order them. And I was very pleased with the mother uh, basically saying, "Hey, I would love it, but I know the children have a life too." So uh, I'm not going to require, mm -hmm. it, but if it works out, uh, I will. I will allow it. Okay. All right. Uh, where were we? Any anything else from anyone else, Ms. Adams? Anyone? No, Your Honor. Right. Okay. So the court uh, finds that um, both parents are compliant with their respective services. Um, I believe it was Ms. Rios who said that there has been um, a real 180. Uh, Ms. Wells and you, and uh, I will say from my perspective, uh, from the beginning of the case, that, that is exactly what was necessary, uh, an absolute permanent 180. And I want to commend you and encourage you and applaud you and praise you uh, for the hard work that you've done for, for not allowing the little hiccup with the Panita house to sidetrack you or derail you. Are, are you able to hear me? Yes. Well, we're, we're all very pleased and very proud of you and, and hope that you're uh, equally pleased and proud of your uh, yourself. Um, and I, I, I like it that you said that your kids need you and you know that and it's not just saying I need my kids it, you know they need you and they deserve you so keep up keep up the great work okay um and uh so mr mr cook i i want to uh say basically the same thing to you i i just uh, am very pleased with your progress uh the the about face and the changes that you've made so both of you do do whatever it takes for your children, of course, and for their parents uh, to stay the course and to stay in, in recovery. Um, it, it will make uh, all the difference in the world. Now, as great as you all are doing, you're going to have to continue this and, and that permanently, right? So mm -hmm. uh, keep, keep, doing, keep doing that. 
and do whatever it takes to stay in your recovery. Uh, and, and remember, every time we get together, I have to give you this, this uh, admonition. Uh, and it's this, that if at the end of this case, you're not willing and able to provide a safe environment for your children, your parental rights may be further restricted or even terminated permanently. I know you understand that, both of you. And uh, it, it has become uh, increasingly clear to me that neither one of you wants that to happen. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep not doing what you're not doing. Uh, and I will order that visit this afternoon uh, that we talked about earlier um, uh, with Mr. Cook and the children. Now, um, uh, as you as you leave and as you uh, go out of state um, uh, to work, Mr. Cook, uh, it's going to become a different type of hard to maintain in your um, your trajectory here. So, marshal everything you've learned in your services to do whatever it takes uh, to, to work, uh, but also to work for your children and um, be somebody who can provide them with a safe environment, um, which, which at the very least means a drug-free environment, as you well know. All right, so please, yes, uh, please be uh, careful and circumspect and not overly confident or, or naive, okay? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And, um, have a good uh, sober uh, support system around you. Okay, um, placement uh, shall continue. Our next uh, setting is for a final trial, July the 1st, July the 1st at 1.30. Our dismissal date is August the 26th, 2024. Now, if before we come back, uh, there is an agreement to place the children uh, Santa Maria with the mother, uh, if there is an agreement to do that, uh, that may occur. Uh, if, if not, as you know, agree to attorneys to um, set it for a hearing. All right. Anything else from anyone else? All right. Yes, so, Judge. Go ahead. One thing that we I did not cover is my client is going to start getting home passes for four hours. She may get one this weekend. So she was wondering if her family would be in agreement for her to come there, if they would supervise and you'd be okay with her being able to spend that day pass on Saturdays with her kids. Instead of them having to come up here and stress about getting up here. And you're, you're envisioning, envisioning this to be supervised, right, Ms. Moore? Yes, well, by her family. So Ms. Franklin, uh, what do you think about that possibility? I'm not sure if my supervisor is on. That's something that she would need to approve. But if that's able to happen, I don't have an issue with it, but my supervisor would need to approve that. Okay. Well, um, what about you, Ms. King? Do you, do you have any objections to that? No, sir. All right. Ms. Trousdale? No, sir. Not at all. Okay. All right. Did you, Ms. Adams, if you want to call the supervisor, just let me know um, on, on that. Sure. I think we're, we're the, we are going to say that we um, we can't agree because we don't have the authority to do so um, unless the supervisor is on the screen and I don't see her. Um, but we won't object. OK. All right. So at this time, based on the, the evidence, uh, I am going to find it's in the best interest of the children and uh, the court will order it. Uh, if if there are any issues, uh, then uh, get us back in here and we will review it. Um, okay. All right. So uh, with that, uh, I think I've uh, made all the announcements. So thank you all very much. Keep up the great work. Demonstrate, demonstrate, demonstrate. And uh, we will see you all back July the 1st at 1.30. All right. Okay. Excuse. Thank you very much. I'll sign an order. Here's to that effect. And SP. For okay. a status hearing, uh, the court would uh, first call the mother, Allie Wilson, if you will unmute and announce your appearance. Uh, yes, I'm here. All right, very good. Um, what about Isaac McFeeder? Isaac McFeeder, Isaac McFeeder, Isaac McFeeder. No answer. What about Dalen Wilson? Your Honor, Kathy White, I represent Dalen Wilson. And he's present. All right. Uh, where where is he? 
If he will unmute, please. Here, Your Honor. Hey, there you are. Very good. Thank you. I have you, Mark, present, and uh, then Cody uh, Castro. Right here, Your Honor. All right. Thank you very much. We are here for a status hearing. So let me get uh, all of you parents and everyone who may testify, if you will raise your right hands to be sworn, yes. please. Yes. Okay. That's everyone. Um, Ms. Adams, you may call your first. Uh, the department calls Sharonda Easley. I'm Sharonda Easley, CPS caseworker. And are you the caseworker on this particular case? Yes, I am. Where are the children placed? They're currently placed with maternal great aunt. How are they doing? They're doing well in their placement. Okay. Are all their needs being met? Yes. Are they able to Are they able to visit with their parents? Yes, they are. Okay. Uh, in person or virtually? Um, Cody and Allie, they are able to visit in person. Dalen does um, phone visits virtually. And how are, how are all the visits going? They're going well. Wonderful. Um, and as far as the uh, three parents that are here, have service plans been created for all three of them? Yes, it has. Were they there when the service plans were created? Um, yes, we did an FGC. All right. Did they take part in that pr yes. process? Have the service plans been filed with the court? Yes, they have. Um, are they specific to the needs of this family? Yes, they are. Have the parties, all three parents, uh, reviewed them? Your Honor, I'm going to object at this point because we're referring to the parents and this family. Uh, the There are two different fathers with regard to... Uh, the children and my client, uh, you know, we haven't participated. So can we please identify the parents in the questioning? Well, did, uh, did your client not participate in the FGC? So we have two separate ones, your honor, and mine's scheduled for May 8th. Okay. Then there was, okay. So, okay. um, let's, let's back up, um, Miss Easley, cause I was talking about all three parents. So Mr. Wilson has not, they haven't, the service plan hasn't been created for him. One has been created with him. I did do a um, FSNA with him over the phone. Uh, we talked about the concerns that the department has, so I was able to create a service plan for him. Okay. Has he reviewed that plan? Um, no, he has not. All right. Um, I, I'm assuming he hasn't signed it either. He has not. Has it been filed with the court? Yes, it has. Did you send it to his attorney, Miss White? I'm not sure. Okay. I think she got it when I filed it with the court. Okay. Um, did the, the the other two parents that are here, they were part of the, the process and the, all the answers to your questions were revolved regarding them. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. Um, are you asking that their service plans be made in order of the court? Yes, I am. And is that in the best interest of this family and these children? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, do you also see them nodding? So it seems like they are being, they are, they are work, are they working well with you? Yes. Wonderful. Is Mr. Wilson working with you? Yes, he is. All right. Um, do you want Mr. Wilson's plan to be made in order of the court, or is that not appropriate at this time? Um, you don't know. I think it, I think it is. Um, the services that we're asking, he has already agreed um, to engage in those services. Okay. So you went through the services with him on the phone? I did, yes. Okay, so y'all reviewed y'all reviewed them, but he may have not have seen the physical piece of paper that was filed with the court. You don't know if he has or not. Is that correct? That's, that's correct. All right, get I understand. Um, are you asking for the court to maintain temporary managing conservatorship of these children? Yes. Is it appropriate for any of the children to go home at this time? No, it's not. Are they safe where they are? Yes, they are. Um, pass witness. All right. Thank you. Ms. White, let me know, do you have a copy of um, your client's proposed family plan of service? No, I do not have a copy of it, Your Honor. However, if it was served on me and it occurred after I left the office uh, last week, I was out of town Friday afternoon, then maybe if they've printed it for me Friday and it should be there when I get there today. Okay. I'm, I'm wondering if somebody might be able to email it to you right now. So with with that, um, Ms. Trousdale. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, are there any services that these parents have not agreed to or aren't aware of? You've gone over everything with them, correct? That is correct. Okay. And to uh, is it your understanding that 
to the best of your knowledge, that, that, that Allie Wilson understands what's expected of her. That is correct. Okay. And um, has she agreed to work those services? Yes, she has. Okay. Now, is the department able to provide the resources that these parents need in order to complete the services? Yes. Right. And specifically what I'm talking about is have you provided Allie Wilson with phone numbers, um, contact information for those services so yes, that she can set up? Okay. And what exactly has been, has anything been set up yet? Um, not to my understanding. No, not yet. Okay. Um, are you asking her to complete a drug and alcohol assessment? Yes, I am. Okay. And is that assessment to be done in Humble? Um, it's through Behavior Solution. Okay. Where is that located? Um, they're located, I want to say, in Liberty County area, mm -hmm. Chambers mm -hmm. County area. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't know specifically where she'll need to go for that drug and alcohol assessment? No, they will give her that information once you reach out. Who, who will give her that? Behavior solution. When they schedule an appointment, they'll tell her the location where she'll go, or oh. even if it's virtual. Okay. Okay. So, um, but that assessment has not been set up yet, correct? The 2054 has been set up, um, but no, she hasn't set up the appointment yet. No. Okay. So you sent to 2054 and now. Does Allie Wilson need to call and make that appointment? Yes. Okay. Okay. And have you provided her with a phone number to call? I have. I sent them a copy of their service plan um, in an email, and it has the um, providers and their phone numbers um, inside the family plan as well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, in addition to the drug and alcohol assessment, what is there a psychosocial that's been set up? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, do you know where that's supposed to take place? It's going to be done as well as behavior solution. Okay. And um, are there any other assessments that have been set up? No. Um. If they need transportation to those assessments, is that something the department can provide to them? I can um, try. Um, it's not always easy to get transportation, but I can try for them. I know I've been um, providing transportation for their parent-child visits. Okay. Um, they're one of the, at least one of their assessments. Is that in Houston? Um, I think it's maybe the psychosocial on Uvalde Road. Does that sound right? Nineteen classes. Okay, stand, stand by, Ms. Wilson. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. Do you know where that psychosocial is set up? The psychosocial is set up through Behavior Solutions, and they'll, they'll, um, they'll get with her and, and um, decide the location that's convenient for her. Okay. I'm looking on their family plan of service and it looks like some of the services are not, aren't necessarily close to where they're living. Would you agree with that? Uh, no, the services should be right in that area. Um, Behavior solution is in that area. If we're speaking on parenting classes, the form doesn't cover parenting classes. So I still like to list the provider um, that they could use for parenting classes, but they don't necessarily have to go with that provider that's listed on a service plan because we do not cover parenting classes. Okay. If the, um, well, I'll move on from that. Are you asking for random drug testing? Yes, I am. Okay. And um, the drug testing facility at this time, the facility you're asked that you asked them to go to, is that the one that's directly across the street from them? Yes, it is. Okay. And um, is that, for now, is that the place they will always need to go for drug testing during the pendency of this case, as far as you know? Yes, at this time, where they're currently living at. Yes, yes ma'am. Now, are you aware of any um, no contact order that has been put in place? No, I am not. Okay. Um, 
has there been an ARD meeting with regards to any of these children? Yes, it has. Okay. And is that the oldest child, the middle child? The middle child. Okay. And um, was mom informed of that ARD? Mom was informed of ARD. And was she permitted to attend the ARD meeting? Not that I'm aware of. No. Okay. Do you know, have you spoken with anyone at the school? I have not. Okay. So that's your knowledge. Has anyone from the department um, told the school that mom is not allowed to attend those meetings? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Okay. And have the parents submitted to drug testing? To my understanding, they were called um, on a Thursday. They did not um, attend a drug testing that I um, asked them. But then later at the FGC, they stated that they had went um, and did a UA. Um, I think the day of the um, FGC or the day before. Um, on that day of the FGC, I asked both parents to do a hair follicle. And I don't believe that neither one of them went. So you still need a hair follicle from them. Is the department still asking for a hair follicle from them? Yes. Okay, and that can be done right across the street from them, correct? That is correct. Pass the witness. All right, thank you. Um, Ms. White. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Eastley, when you're referring to both parents needing a hair follicle, which parents specifically are you referring to? Allie and Cody. Okay. Uh, you're not referring to Mr. Wilson in any respect, are you not? That's correct. Okay. Now, when you said the middle child uh, had an ARD meeting, you're referring to, is that correct? CW, yes. Or CW, yes. Sorry. I don't think, no. It was, it was the oldest child. It was the oldest child? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. And there's no, uh, with regard to CW, uh, there's no ARD involvement. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. And did you provide Mr. Uh, Wilson with a list of approved parenting uh, class uh, providers? I did list one. Um, I Googled an um, a area in his um, area where he stays at. It's like a um, I guess it's like a, um, a center that um, that's in his community and they offer parenting classes. So I listed that on as a service plan. Okay. And when did you provide that to Mr. Wilson? Um, I think when we spoke last, when we was walking, going through the FSNA, um, setting up his services, we talked okay. about him completing parenting classes. Okay. And what other parenting classes did you recommend for Mr. Wilson? I believe that was it. Because we don't we don't pay for that, so I just gave him, uh, you know, kind of one that's in his area. Okay. And how would you describe Mr. Wilson's interaction with you? Um, everything was well. Um, he seemed um, like he's willing to work services. Um, okay. And now, uh, have you observed any of the um, visitation between Mr. Wilson and his daughter? I have not. And do you have any objection to those uh, visitation periods uh, being increased? I do not. Okay. And are you familiar with the fact that he only has uh, electronic visitation with his daughter, correct? That is correct. Right. Do you believe that there's any reason that he would not be allowed to have in-person visitation with his daughter? Um, other than him living out of the state, no. Okay. Thank you. I pass the witness, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Mr. McNeely. Ms. Easley, uh, regarding Cody Castro, have you given him the service plan? Yes, I have. And has he signed it and returned it to you? He has not. Have you discussed it with him? Yes, I have. Is he aware of what he needs to do? Yes, he is. Okay, and is he working with you to accomplish the service plan? Yes, he is. Okay. Um, there seems to be some confusion 
uh, with Mr. Castro concerning transportation to these places. Uh, it, it's my understanding that you've given the numbers to call uh, the places that you want them to go for the assessment and the psychological. Is that correct? That is correct. Do you know whether they have contacted the provider? I'm not aware of it. So you would not know if they've been told that the locations are one in Humble and one off of I-10 and Uvalde. You, you wouldn't be aware of that? No, I would not. Okay, well, if that is correct, uh, would not the department be able to provide transportation uh, for them to go to these places since they're so far away and they have no transportation? The department can help um, as any way possible. Um, like I said, I've been providing them with transportation to their parent-child visit. Um, they haven't told me about any other transportation needs that they have at this time. Okay. Uh, so how many times have you provided transportation for them to go to Gonzalez? The visits are located in Sealy, Texas, and I provide it twice. We do the visit twice a month for two hours at Sealy Park. So the grand, the, the grand aunt, uh, she's been meeting you in Sealy? Yes, that's correct. Okay. How did those visits go? The visit goes well. We haven't had any concerns at the parent-child visits. And uh, do you uh, plan on having future visits? Yes, sir. We will continue having twice a month visits. <laughs> As a witness. All right, thank you, Ms. Iverson. To your knowledge, are there any questions at this point regarding paternity of any of the children? Um, I've, there's been different talks within the family about Cody might not be the father of the baby. Okay. But I'm not sure. He stated that he's the oh. father. He said he signed a birth certificate, so I'm not really sure. So no plans at this point um, for asking for DNA tests? Not to my understanding. Um, if one of the children wanted to be allowed to have overnight with an approved home where her friend lives, is that something the department could look into? Yes, um, the department would like for our kids to um, practice normalcy, um, and that's part of normalcy. If kids do spend a night over their friends' house, it's appropriate. Excellent. So if the grandmother could provide you with um, contact information and names, there are two friends, um, you, you'd be willing to look into that? Yes, I will. Any needs that the kids have that are not being met? No, all their needs are being met at this time. Are there plans for summer school? For anyone, yes, one of the uh, one of the kids will attend summer school. And is there talk, to your knowledge, of the kids going to California to visit their other grandmother when it would not enter this summer when it would not interfere with summer school? Uh, I'm not sure. A talk. I know we have an ICPC that's pending um, for the grandmother. Is that something that you'd be willing to look into making happen for the kids? Yes, I'll pass it now. All right, thank you. Back to you, Ms. Adams. No further questions, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Any other witnesses? No, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Ms. Trousdale, you may call your first. I'd like to call my client. All right. Yes. <clears throat> Ms. Wilson, I'm going to your name for court. Uh, 
Allie Wilson. And Ms. Wilson, um, did you receive a copy of your service plan? Yes, I did. Okay. And do you understand what's being asked of you on that service plan? Yes, I do. And do you understand they're asking you to do a psychosocial assessment? Yes. And were you provided with the contact information in order to get that set up? Yes. And to best your understanding, where is that assessment supposed to take place? Um, the location is in Umble. Uh, okay. I, I haven't called because of that. Okay. okay. Um, if the department can provide transportation for you to get to Umble for this assessment, are you able and willing yes. to cooperate? Okay. Um, can, do you have the actual address? You don't have to put it on, you don't have to say it right now, but do you have the actual address? Yes. Okay. And can you provide that to your caseworker, please? Sure. Yeah. Is the, I was looking, I couldn't find it. Is the actual address on the service plan? Uh, it should. Yes. And the phone number. Okay. Well, phone number. Okay. Um, do you understand they're asking you to do a drug and alcohol assessment? Yes. And do you have the contact information for that? Yes. And um, where is that assessment supposed to take place? Uh, the same place in Humble. And again, would you, at this time, would you need transportation to that assessment? Yes. And if the department provides transportation, you are willing and able to cooperate with that assessment? Yes. Do you understand the department is asking you to do parenting classes? Yes. Did they provide you with the contact information for that? Yes, I was given one resource um, located in Channel View. Okay. Do you understand that those classes are not going to be covered by the department as far as cost? Yes. Okay. Were you able to call the facility in Channel View? No, we, not yet. Okay. Um, I, I wanted to ask, is it possible that we can... Um, do those online? Are there any court approved parenting classes yeah. online? Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, are you able to get to Channel View for classes if that's where you had to do the classes? Not on my own. Okay. Um, are you asking that the court approve um, parenting classes? If you can't find any in person classes in your area that you can get yourself to, are you asking the court to approve an online course? Yes. Um, and that might mean that you have to find the course and, and have another hearing to actually get that particular course approved. Okay. Okay. Um, you also understand that the department is expecting you to maintain a safe and stable home? Yes. Okay. And where are you currently residing? Is it the same hotel you've been at? Yes. Correct. Okay. And um, what are your plans as far as providing your children with a safe and stable home? Um, we plan to, once we get our mode of transportation, move closer to the children since they're already established there and they love their schools and everything. Just get jobs there and um, get a place and work our way up from there. But okay. we plan, yeah. So it, it's a work in progress at this point. Yeah. This is early in the case. Correct. Okay. Um, you understand it, that the department expects you to work? Yes. And really quick, I want to go back to these assessments. They've asked you to do these two assessments. Do you understand that there may be some recommendations that come from those assessments? Yes, I do. Okay. And in particular, there's a drug and alcohol assessment. There may be a recommendation that you participate in some drug classes or possibly even an inpatient program. I understand. Are you? Okay. Are you willing to cooperate and follow the recommendations from those assessments? Yes. At this time. Okay. Um, and the same with the psychosocial, there may be some recommendations that you take, um, that you participate in counseling or take some additional classes. At this time, are you willing to cooperate with those recommendations? Yes. Okay. Um, and then you're also, you understand they will ask you to do random mm -hmm. drug testing, both yes. UA and hair follicle tests. Yeah. 
Okay. You understand that they're random and you have to go the day that they call and ask you to go, not just when you're ready. Yes, I understand. Okay. And the, the testing is actually across the street from you guys. So you've said you won't have a problem getting there, correct? Right. Okay. Um, now they've asked you for a hair follicle test. Is that something you could submit to this week or even today? Yes. You understand the results from those drug tests will be provided to the department. Are you asking for a copy of those results as well? Yes, please. Now, are you visiting the children? Yes. And how often are you getting to visit? Uh, for two hours every two weeks. Now, you understand the department can't provide transportation every week? Right. Yes. Um, are you or and or Mr. Castro trying to secure a vehicle at this time? Yes. Um, once you're able to secure a vehicle, if, if you're able to to get to your aunt's house, would you like visitations to increase? Yes. Weekly? Definitely. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any, uh, well, I'm sorry. And were you told in advance of your, um, of your daughter's hard meeting? Yes. My aunt had told me about it um, at our first visit, and I had inquired about being able to attend it over the phone. Um, uh -huh. and then at the second visit, I was told I could not. Okay. So you were told ahead of time about the ARD meeting, correct? Yes. And, and you made it known that you wanted to attend. Did you let your aunt know? Yes. Okay. And then subsequently, is your understanding there was a no contact order you could not attend? That's, yeah, what I was told. Okay. And so you did not, in fact, you were not able to participate. Is that true? True. Sure. Would you like to be able to participate in those meetings in the future? Yes. Or at least attend them. Okay. Via phone, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions about your service plan? Um, I do want to make it known that there are a lot of spelling errors all throughout with the names. And um, I, okay. I so don't remember exactly. Some, but no. So some of the names are misspelled. But other than that, do you understand what's being asked of you? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you have any questions about what is being asked of you? Um, not at this time. All right. Any other witnesses, Ms. Drowsdale? Um, Judge, if the aunt's present, I would like to call her. The placement. Okay. Yeah. I, believe, <laughs> I believe she is. And I believe she okay. was sworn. So if we could get you to state your name again for the record. Deanne Proctor. You may proceed, Ms. Trouser. Ms. Proctor, um, how are the kids doing? They're doing good. Um, good. They are both in school. The baby is growing as he should and getting fat and sassy. Miss <laughs> um, Deanne, do you have any, Ms. Proctor, do you have, um, have you had any issues? Uh, supervising the visits between Allie and her kids? I have not. Okay. And you're okay with that continuing? Absolutely. The only the uh, only thing that I have is that it is a little far for them to ride for that long. You know, it's an hour and a half over there and then an hour and a half back. But it's halfway between all of us. And I know that right now with them having to get a ride, it is what's easiest. And it's more important that they are able to be with the kids. So. Okay. Thank you. Um, are you, do you have good communication with Allie? I mean, do you have, are y'all able to communicate either via text or phone call or email? Yes. We, we talk on the phone. In fact, we probably started talking more this week than we have in a long time. And um, I am very okay. encouraged. Good. Now, are you able, will you, well, let me ask you this. Have you kept her informed as best you can with regards to these kids, what they have going on? Yes, ma'am. I have tried to. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. And are you willing to continue to let her know when things come up like ARD meetings? Absolutely. Okay. And um, 
are you aware of any no contact order or anything that's been put in place that would prevent Allie from what I was told? Yes, ma'am. What I was told from the very beginning when they when they dropped them off and CPS dropped them off at my house was that they had a no contact order. Oh, yes, Proctor, hold on just a second. Okay. Clear. I'm sorry. It's okay. You said someone told you. Who told you? Was it the department? Someone from the department? Joshua did. The first, okay. uh, the investigative caseworker. Okay. Okay. So is your understanding that there was a no contact order put in place because of what the caseworker told you at the beginning? Correct. But okay. they never so said that- anything about, he said he had to talk to the judge uh, to get supervised visits. Or to find out about visits, which we did about a a week or two weeks later, um, and then we started the visits. But okay. when I okay. I Let asked, okay, okay. Let me interrupt you. Hold on. You're no, fine. no, no. Go ahead. Uh, okay, but you've never been given anything that has stated any order or anything like that that has stated that Miss um, Wilson cannot participate in the art meetings. No, I, I was never anyone. handed. I was never handed a paper or an order that said she could not. Okay. okay. Um. Thank you. I'll pass it, Judge. All right. Thank you, uh, Ms. White. Thank you. Uh, now, Ms. Proctor, uh, how would you describe the visitation uh, that Mr. Wilson is having with his daughter? Um, it's been very positive. Um, he has been uh, texting me weekly on Sundays. Um, he didn't this last Sunday, so you know I didn't think too much about it because things come up. But um, he has had two visits for about 15 minutes via FaceTime, or actually it's through a messenger video with uh, Charlie. And okay. they've gone really well. Okay. And so you don't see any impediment to that would limit his access, correct? Not at this time, no, ma'am. Okay. And would it, I uh, know previously you had testified in another hearing that it was difficult for you to facilitate visitation uh, with their, uh, with the electronic visitation and being time restraints. You had some time restraints on you, if you recall. And I don't recall. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. But would you be willing to, you know, facilitate that electronic communication with Mr. Wilson more frequently? Um, that would be fine. Okay. And um, let's see. With regard to the electronic, uh, do you see any? What's it called? Actually, of this witness, Your Honor, this is all I have of this particular witness. All right, thank you, Mr. McNeely. No question to this witness, Your Honor. Thank you, Ms. Iverson. I did it again. I didn't know I was needed. Sorry. Uh, Ms. Proctor, are there any needs that any of the children have that are not being met? No, ma'am. Um, how long is summer school going to be for CP? It's um, not CP. It's- no, it is CW. <laughs> right, and CW. Yes, ma'am. It is going to begin June the 3rd, and it will go for four weeks. It is from 7.30 in the morning until 3.30 in the afternoon, Monday through Thursday. And although she may not be thrilled, how important is this? It is very important. Um, if she does not attend summer school, she probably will have to repeat third grade and she's too smart for that. And she's doing well, but this is going to give her that base foundation of things that she missed in the first few months of school. So I'm really hoping that she'll be able to go on to fourth grade next year. Okay. And um, obviously that leaves some open weeks during the summer. Um, Are you in favor of the kids being allowed to go to California to visit their other grandmother? Like a vacation? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. I think and, it would be good for him. Okay. And I'm sure you heard the testimony about um, overnight stays. Are you in favor of this idea as well? I if am. These, if these, if specifically if these families are looked into and, and um, they are willing to do so. I am. Um, Sky and has can, stated to me she just wants to be a normal kid. 
Sure. And can you facilitate getting contact information and names to the caseworker for those homes? Yes, ma'am. I will absolutely do that. Pass the witness. All right. Thank you, uh, Ms. Adams. No questions, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Back to you, Ms. Drowsdale. No further questions of this witness and no further witnesses. All right. Thank you. Um, Ms. Proctor, are, are you planning on taking the children to California? Um, we have not set anything in stone. I didn't know quite what I would need to do in order to get that facilitated just to make sure it was okay. But um, I'm sure that between uh, Jonna and, and Mark and myself, we will figure out how best to get the kids there. They would have an adult with them. They would not go by themselves. But if I needed to go with them, they have let me know that I am more than welcome to come. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other witnesses, Ms. Drowsdale? No, sir. Okay. Thank you. Ms. Uh, Ms. White? Yes, Your Honor. I'd like to call my client. All right. Very good. Mr. Wilson, if I can uh, get you to unmute. Uh, very good. And you were sworn. You may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Wilson, please state your full name, please. Dalen Wilson. All right. And you heard the testimony with regard to parenting classes. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Have you received a list of providers at this point? Um, I, it was, I haven't checked my, I haven't seen them in my email. Okay. So you haven't received anything that you're aware of today, correct? Correct. Okay. All right. But you're willing to attend parenting classes. Is that right? Correct. Now, if the court saw fit to allow um, the parties to attend online, would you prefer that you attend your classes online? Um, I have no preference. Okay. And then with regard to your home, uh, are you able to provide a safe and stable home for your daughter? Yes. Okay. And when I refer to your daughter, we're referring to CW, correct? Correct. Okay. And what type of housing do you reside in? I live in a two-bedroom apartment. Okay. And who resides with you? My wife. Okay. And your home is hazard free, correct? Correct. Okay. And you have utilities such as electric and water and gas. So your child's needs would be attended to. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And, but you're financially able to support uh, your daughter when she comes to visit with you. If the court were to deem it fit this summer, correct? Correct. Okay. And she would have her own room to sleep in. Yes. Okay. She has her own bed? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And your daughter, with regard to her educational needs, uh, you heard the testimony regarding summer school? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Did your daughter have any diagnoses that, I, that uh, would affect her education that you're aware of from the past? Um, when she was younger, uh, she would have to have special attention because she has been previously diagnosed with autism. Okay. Has anyone contacted you regarding her educational needs uh, in, say, the last three months? No. Okay. Are you aware of any additional needs that she might have other than attending summer school? Um, I think summer school would be necessary. She needs to catch up on um, a large portion of schools that she has missed out on over the past few years. Okay. And how many times have you visited your daughter uh, in the last month? Uh, two times. Okay. And how long were those visits approximately? Um, they are approximately 15 minutes. Okay. And how would you describe your interaction with your daughter? They were well. Okay. All right. And can you tell the court um, whether or not you're attending therapy sessions? Uh, yes, I have therapy sessions that I um, attend. Well, not attend. I don't know what the right word is. Um, that I do every month. Okay. But that wasn't asked as a uh, view as part of your service plan, was it not? I have no idea. Um, to my knowledge, um, the service plan was going to be created on the 8th of this month. Okay. And to this meeting uh, on the 8th, is that right? Um, can you repeat that? You cut out. And you plan to attend this meeting on the 8th, is that right? Correct. Okay. Do you recall when that meeting was established? Um, it was over the phone um, last time I spoke to the last CPS, 
um, I don't know what their titles are, agents or workers. Um, the last time I spoke to anyone from that department, that is when we scheduled the meeting. Okay. And that's approximately two weeks ago. Is that right? Yes. Okay. All right. And what are you asking the court to do with regard to visitation this summer? Um, for visitation, I would, um, I do deem it necessary for my daughter to continue in school for the summer so that she may have the opportunity to catch up. Um, so I'm asking if the courts find it fit to increase my virtual visits. Okay. And that's, I pass the witness, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. Any questions from anyone for Mr. Wilson? Yes, Your Honor. You may. Mr. Wilson, when's the last time that you saw your daughter in person? Uh, 2019. And before this case started, um, how what type of communication were you having with her? Very little. And for what reason is that? Um, just not being able to communicate with the mother. Were you also having some, um, in the past few years, have you also been having some um, substance abuse issues as well? Right. Um, okay. I'm okay. diagnosed alcoholic, so. All right. Um, you said that you currently live in the, your your current placement with your wife. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right. And is she is she actually is she living with you right now, or are you currently separated? She's living with me. All right. We're on the lease together. Okay. Um, um, are you considering separation at this time? No. Um, do y'all have, are there any other children in the house? No. She does, does she have any children of her own? No. Do you have any children other than this child? No. Okay. And you are you are married to her? Yes, ma'am. Legally married. Um, how are the visits going with your child now? They're well. I don't have anything bad to say about them. Are you working on building that relationship with her? Correct. Do you feel like she has a um, a good relationship with her siblings? Um, I haven't asked. I know that her relationship with her sister is the one that is most prominent. Um, however, with the youngest, I haven't um, I haven't in, um, inquired about that. And do you want do you want what is best for your child? Correct. Setting aside whatever your wants and needs are but you want you want what what is best for her is that correct yes ma'am awesome pass witness right thank you miss trousdale i don't have any questions just okay thank you um miss iverson did you get a chance a chance to what your honor uh to ask uh, Mr. Wilson any questions. Oh, no, sir. I don't have any questions for him. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Ms. Trousdale? No questions. Right. Thank you. Back to you, Ms. White. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wilson, uh, with regard to not being able to see CW since 2019, were you aware of her mother's whereabouts? Um, I knew the state, but not the exact whereabouts. Okay. Was that an impediment to you visiting with your daughter? Um. There was many things that were impediments, and that was one of them. Okay. And then with regard to substance abuse, you don't have any um, history with any uh, abuse of prescription medication, do you? No. Okay. And no use of illegal drugs, is that right? Correct. Okay. And the therapy you were referring to earlier in your testimony, was that part of your therapy as it relates to alcoholism? No, that's um, that's a, that's therapy, and as in, it's just general therapy that I go to. Um, with my psychologist, um, okay. I use that to supplement um, just anything, anything that I have problems with in life. I, I have a monthly meeting with him. Okay. And have you had any setbacks in, say, the last 90 days? Um, well, I recently relapsed back in early February. Okay. And that was it. It was about a week long period. All right. And uh, that's all I have this witness, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. Um, Ms. White, are you in receipt of uh, the proposed uh, family plan of service for Mr. Wilson? 
I am, Your Honor. Okay. Um, now I understand that there might be an FGC set for him on the 8th. Uh, there is. Is, there, is there any reason why um, I can't make my findings and, and make that an order of the court today? Uh, no, Your Honor. Uh, for the parenting plan, no, there's no reason at all. All right, so the court is going to take judicial notice at this point of all three proposed family plans of service. Um, any uh, any other witnesses, Ms. White? <clears throat> uh, well, Your Honor, I believe I saw Mr. Wilson's parents here. And and that's uh, Jonna Wilson, yes. It is, Your Honor. I'd like to call Ms. Wilson. All right, and I believe, uh, Ms. Wilson, you were sworn in, correct? Okay, we'll get you unmuted. Sorry, yes. <laughs> very, very good. Thank you once again for being here. You may proceed. Thank you, Honor. Ms. Wilson, will you please state your full name for the court? Uh, Jonna Wilson. Okay. And had you, have you had an opportunity to see your son's apartment? I, I don't know. I think, I believe he moved. So I have not seen the new apartment. Okay, but do you see any uh, potential hazards as it relates to uh, CW uh, spending time and visiting with your son this summer? Uh, in, in his last apartment, is that what you're questioning? Well, just in general. Do you have any, any concerns with uh, regard to your son? Um, yes. yes. Okay, and as it relates to his residence, um, is that your concern? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. And can you tell the court what that is? Uh, well, he, there was, there were, last time we went there, there were alcohol, cans of, of empty beer cans and bottles. Let me stop you. What, when was last time mm -hmm. you went there? Uh, it was during that, in February, when he said he relapsed. Okay. It was during but you that haven't, time. Okay. But you haven't been back since February? No, I have not. Okay. So you haven't been able no, to. No, I don't. I don't know what his his situation is now. His wife and I do okay. not get along. So, oh, okay. You don't get along with his current wife. No. Understood. All right. I pass this witness, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. Any invited here? Are I'm sorry. What was that? Uh, dis disregard that, Ms. Oh, Wilson. okay. <laughs> um, somebody was not muted. Uh, all right. Any any questions from anyone for Ms. Wilson? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead, Ms. Iverson. Ms. Wilson, you say that you have concerns. What are they? Uh, with his wife? No, the, with if um, his daughter were to be not necessarily well, placed with him, but say, I, uh, I, overnight. Yeah, provide. I don't know. Right, right now, I I don't know the state of of their new place. Um, because I've never been invited because his wife and I do not get along. Um, I know that my son has been working really hard because the, you know, I think part of his, um, problem with alcohol, uh, Objection speculation. Start, Your Honor. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, Your Honor, I would oh, say she has first knowledge of his issues with the alcohol. Over, overruled. You may finish your answer. Thank you. Okay. Um, a part of the reason that he had a problem with alcohol is, is from a mother's point of view was because he was not in communication Again, with Your his Honor, daughter. Objection. She's not qualified to testify as to the reasons he's had a problem with alcohol. Well, no, I, I, think she's, I think she's testifying from a mother's point of view, and I think she's qualified for that. So finish your answer, please. I believe that a lot of his problems with alcohol stems from him not having his daughter. It, that has been very difficult on him. Okay. So basically having trouble handling his emotions, correct? Yes. Objection misstates the testimony. Okay, I'll, I'll rephrase it. Okay. By, by that, do you mean that he has trouble, in your opinion, managing his emotions in a healthy way? Objection yes. speculation. Overruled. What was your answer, please, ma'am? Yes. Okay, I'll pass the witness. All right, thank you. All right, any other questions uh, from anyone for Ms. Wilson? Ms. Adams? Anyone? No, Your Honor. Okay, all right. Um, Ms. Wilson, um, were the children uh, 
and, and I, I want to make sure you all are in, envisioning all all three of the children coming out for a possibly for a visit. Is that your understanding? Yes. Okay. Would would you um, consider or to permit it supervising any in person visits between your son and the child CW, his child? Yes, I would absolutely facilitate that. Okay. Okay. All right. Any other questions from anyone for Ms. Wilson? All right. Ms. Wilson, as far as you know, the uh, CPS has done a, uh, though not a home study or an ICPC, a, a background check on you and everyone that lives in your home? Uh, we, we had a home visit uh, last Tuesday. Uh, she is coming, um, the, the caseworker is coming again uh, tomorrow to interview all the adults in our home um, and, and finish the home or inspect the, the one thing that they asked us to um, fix. We have a pool and they want pool alarms on the door. So we're working on that. It'll be all done right. by the time she gets here. All right. Have you um, had any communications with uh, Miss Easley, the Texas caseworker? Uh, Sharonda, yes, I've talked to her. Okay. All right. Any other questions uh, for Ms. Wilson? No, you are. Okay. All right, Ms. Wilson, thank you uh, very much. Uh, Mr. McNeely, uh, Ms. Walker, any other witnesses? They can speak to that one. Any other witnesses, Ms. White? I do not, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Mr. McNeely, you may call your first, if any. We'll get you unmuted. Tony Castro, Your Honor. All right, uh, Mr. Castro, if you can unmute, please. I'm present, Your Honor. State your name for the record, please. Cody Andrew Castro. Okay. And uh, did you uh, did you listen to each and every question that Ms. Trousdell asked Allie? Uh, yes. Is your response to all of those questions the same as hers? Absolutely. Okay. Did you receive the service plan? Yes. Are you aware of what is expected to you of the service plan? Yes, sir, I am. Okay. Are you asking the court uh, to continue the visits that have been set up uh, and if possible to expand those visits if you're able to get a vehicle? Yes. Okay. Are you willing to walk across the street today and give a UA and a hair follicle? Yes, sir. If so ordered. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, pass a witness. All right, thank you, Ms. Um, Ms. Iverson. No questions for this witness, Judge. Thank, thank you, Ms. Adams. No questions, Your Honor. Okay, thank you, Ms. Trousdale. No questions. Thank you, and Ms. White. Uh, yes, I have a couple of questions, Your Honor. All right. Uh, Ms. Wilson, uh, Mr. what's Mr. the name of your husband? Mr. Castro. We're on Mr. Castro. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I have no witness uh, questions for Mr. Castro. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, all right. Back to you, Mr. McNeely. Any other questions or witnesses? Um, for the witnesses, John. 
All right, thank you. Um, Ms. Easley, I'm going to order uh, the parents to go for hair follicles by the end of testing time today. Do you also want your analyses from them? Yes, Judge, that is fine. Okay, then I will order uh, your analyses and hair follicles uh, times two uh, for Mr. Castro and Ms. Wilson uh, by the end of uh, facilities um, testing time today. So you all will need to bring uh, valid IDs, I'm sure, to that. Uh, and uh, don't uh, don't be late. Okay, any any other witnesses? Uh, Ms. Iverson, I uh, haven't heard from CASA, so. Yes, I'd like to call CASA, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Could you state your name for the record, please? The CASA advocate is Nola Inglehopt. Is she present, Ms. Martin? Yes, I see her. Okay. Okay. She is. Um, we'll get her uh, unmuted. There we go. Nola Engelhop. Okay. And you had the opportunity to meet these children? Yes, I have. Have you visited the home as well? Yes. And had a chance to um, get <clears throat> to know the placement as well as the parents? Yes. Okay. And how do, how do you feel about the placement and how the kids are doing? They're doing very well. Um, they miss their um, their mother and uh, Cody, and they know what's going on. And um, they really love being in school. The baby looks great. He was very happy. Do you approve of the, the visitations as they stand now? Yes, I just wish they could see each other more. I think that would help both sides, but I understand they don't have transportation right now. And do you agree that supervised visitation is appropriate? Yes. And how do you feel about access to the father, the other father? I mean, I, I think it's fine. Okay. They seem do to have you, a relationship and always have do you do you feel that those need to be supervised when they occur? Nothing I have heard um, makes me think it needs to be supervised. Now you're asking Ms. Iverson. You're asking about um, Jalen Wilson. Father. Yes, Jalen. Yes. Yes. Okay. Of of the middle sorry, child, be, right? Yes. yes. Sorry, I should have been more specific. Yes. Does that change anything about your answer or is it the same answer? It's the same answer. The only thing that makes me question that is I did hear that in their divorce, his mother was Objection. given custody of the okay. Oh, okay. Does that saying. tell us anything that, that same. Oh. same. Is there anything else you, <clears throat> excuse me, anything else you would like the court to know? Um, no. All right, I'll pass the witness. Okay, thank you. Ms. Adams? No questions. Okay, thank you. Ms. Trousdale? No questions. Thank you. Ms. White? Yes, Your Honor. Ma'am, nothing you've observed with regard to Dalen Wilson uh, would require you to think that he needs supervision, correct? Correct. Okay, I pass the witness, Your Honor. All right, thank you, Mr. McNeely. No questions, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Back to you, Ms. Iverson. Any other questions or any other witnesses? Very briefly, I'd like to add some more questions. Um, you, I'm sure you heard the testimony regarding uh, potential overnight stays with friends. Yes. It, assuming that um, those background checks, well, first of all, that, they, that the, these parents are willing to participate, um, assuming that their background checks for both CPS history and criminal history come back clean, are you in support of, of these? taking place yes um the girls are very excited to be in school and be making friends and have a so-called normal childhood with their peers and would you be willing okay and, and given that support would you be willing to facilitate making that happen if, if appropriate yes 
Thank you. No, no further questions. All right, thank you. Any other witnesses, Ms. Iverson? I'm sorry, any other witnesses, Ms. Iverson? I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. No, sir. No, okay. sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, Ms. Wilson, if you can go ahead and unmute uh, Jonna Wilson. Uh, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to answer your question, uh, but uh, I think you had a question earlier. Uh, yes, I, I know that the caseworker in California said that um, if, if you ordered an emergency on this, that, that our ICPC could be done quicker. That's all. That's it's just something that she asked me to bring up. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Okay. All right. So, um, Ms. Uh, Ms. Adams, if that would help, uh, I would be amenable to considering that. Um, I, I don't know about emergency. I'm more familiar <laughs> with, uh, but um, uh, if the department thinks that that would would help and would benefit uh, facilitate the visitation um, then I'll certainly consider that um, okay all right so at this time uh, the court uh, finds uh, having taken judicial notice of the service plans finds that they are narrowly all three narrowly tailored to address the issues the concerns uh, that brought us here so based on that the court hereby makes all three of them orders of the court uh, and incorporates them therein. Now that they're orders of the court, um, uh, mom and dads, uh, you need to remember that um, when this case ends, if you are not willing and able to provide a safe environment for your children, your parental rights may be further restricted or even terminated permanently. Now, if you do not uh, abide by your service plans, uh, make the necessary changes, acquire or new knowledge or skills, sharpen any skills, um, then the department may use that as a ground against you uh, to ask me in the future to terminate your parental rights. So you you must abide by your service plan, work your services, and then demonstrate that that you have gotten it, that you've made the changes, and that you can provide a safe environment for your children. Um, so with uh, that said, it seems to me that you all understand that and you uh, do not want that to happen. You do want to um, have your children return to you. So keep working, uh, keep working your plan, keep cooperating, keep visiting. Um, and uh, do whatever it takes to stay uh, to stay in uh, recovery. Now, let me go through my notes here. <clears throat> um, Ms. Uh, Ms. Easley, the court uh, is going to approve of uh, any overnight visitation uh, between the children and any friends and families with whom um, the department has approved by way of your uh, your background checks and criminal background checks. Um, uh, the court, uh, for the time being, is going to leave uh, leave the parent uh, visitation uh, and parents. Uh, by that, I mean Ms. Wilson and Mr. Castro's visitation at every uh, every other week. Um, if um, if it's uh, possible, uh, I would like the children to be able to visit with them virtually uh, on those off weeks. Uh, I will uh, I will increase Mr. Wilson's uh, virtual visits to uh, weekly. I'm I'm going to. Um, or bear uh, any visitation uh, in person, uh, any overnights, uh, any placement at this point with uh, CW in his home. Um, 
but should the children uh, come to visit uh, during the summer uh, with uh, uh, Jonna Wilson, uh, the court would approve um, and, in fact, would would order under that circumstance uh, that he visit and only uh, only him uh, with uh, CW supervised by Ms. Wilson. Now, the court notes there there is no um, no order that precludes uh, the mother from participating in uh, in any ARDS going forward. Now, I, I doubt that there'll be any more for the balance of the school year, uh, but the court uh, simply notes that. And it, in fact, it's unfortunate that um, she was not able to attend that uh, that hard uh, virtually or 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 telephonically. All right, our, our next uh, hearing is for an initial permanency on September the 9th. At 9 a.m., our dismissal is March the 24th, March the 24th, 2025. TMC is continued with the department. Uh, placement uh, is approved to continue uh, for all three uh, with Ms. Uh, Proctor. Now, is there is there anything else from, from anyone? Your Honor, not for me. Okay. Now, if it if it wasn't clear, uh, the court does approve um, a visit uh, out to California with um, Ms. Wilson, uh, provided it does not uh, conflict with uh, summer school. Um, now, the court uh, the court I have the court believes that uh, an approved ICPC uh, is not necessary. Uh, for a visit out there. Now, Ms. Adams, the department might see it otherwise. Um, so, um, in part, that's why I'm inclined to certainly consider an expedited or uh, uh, an emergency uh, ICPC. I believe that we already requested that at the last hearing. Okay. Um, I thought I might have ordered it expedited, but if they have something else called an emergency, then uh, I would be, I would certainly consider it. I, I think if we limited the, if the, if the visit, uh, and I could look into it more, but I believe if the, if the visit was quite limited and it wasn't yeah. a trying to get around the ICPC <laughs> right, 30 right. days thing, but you know, a week in California, I think, I don't yeah. think that that would violate ICPC. I, I agree. I agree. Ms. Proctor, do you? Yes, sir. I do. Um, my husband and I are fine with the kids staying with us um, at this time. The only thing is, is that with me unable to work, we do need some sort of support because we are down a couple of incomes. <laughs> so I just would like that consideration brought up. Okay. All right. Well, um, I will I will leave that for uh, the department uh, and the children's attorney uh, to take up uh, with you and to explore uh, everything that's out there in terms of uh, uh, in terms of kinship, daycare, or the or the like. And we do have some some things going, but we've heard nothing on it yet. So, <laughs> okay. in right. child support, in child support, Your Honor, the child department's support. the department either the department can get involved and ask and we have it pled for and ask specifically that an amount be made but if the parents can directly send money um in an equitable amount then that would be great yes well and sir, judge, I'll, 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 certainly I'll, mr Bell and mr mcneely can have that discussion um uh, and um the court will uh, take that up at the appropriate time, but certainly in the meantime, I, I know they're trying to get transportation and so on. Um, but uh, I understand we, that, and I don't want to take away from them trying to get on their feet. But well, I just wanted I to mention. Mean, I'm. I don't mean to even suggest that transportation uh, uh, super, supersedes financially supporting. Right. Their, so that Absolutely. might take priority even of transportation. Um, uh, uh, so, um, okay, 
Any anything else? All right, I will sign uh, orders that uh, comport with my my ruling. And um, so, if there's not anything else, thank you all uh, very much. Please take care, and we'll see you back uh, September the 9th at nine a.m. Right. Thank you, Honor. Uh, hey, thank you. So, thank uh, you very much, ma'am. I I need to. Uh, you, and you are uh, Sabri Aga. You are the mother of the child, the subject of the suit. Correct. Yes, Your Honor. Now, the first thing I need to let you know is that uh, you have a right to an attorney in this case. Now, um, I can't imagine going through a case of such import without an attorney. Um, and, and I'll hear whether you're in agreement to uh, the department being named temporary managing conservator. But first, I need to uh, know that you understand you have a right to an attorney. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. You have a right <laughs> to retain an attorney, hire an attorney. Now, if you cannot afford an attorney, and since you're uh, the mother, uh, and if you are in opposition to the department's petition or lawsuit, uh, then the court will uh, appoint an attorney to you if you were uh, in opposition and if you cannot afford one. Um, so are, are you in opposition today uh, to the department taking temporary uh, managing conservatorship so that services might be provided to your child and or you? Um, so I haven't received any information from anybody regarding what's going on besides the documents that I was served. Um, so no one from the department has told me the grounds on why they filed it. Um, but when I received the documentation, it said that her safety, physical, and uh, that she might be subject to physical or sexual abuse and that I, what I might do, ma'am, is um, we're about to go to another hearing. Uh, once we've done that, um, I'll let uh, the department uh, speak with you uh, and and maybe also Ms. Pardue Wheeler, uh, and we'll take a break for you all to, to do that virtually to meet. And then we'll come back, uh, return to your case, and, and I'll take announcements at that point. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, so thank you for being here. Just continue to uh, be patient and stand by, okay? Yes, Your Honor. For a permanency uh, slash uh, trial today, let me uh, call for the mother, Carla Lozano. Carla Lozano, I believe. Present, I Your Honor. Thank you very much. And Ms. Uh, Wheeler, of course, is here uh, with you, for you. And uh, what about um, uh, Aaron Carver? I believe I saw Mr. Carver. I'm present, Your Honor. Here we are. There we are. And uh, I have you marked present. Your attorney is at least on my screen right next to you, Ms. Moore. All right. Uh, and we have um, Ms. Iverson. So let me get uh, the two of you and everyone uh, who may testify, if you'll raise your right hands to be sworn, please. Ms. Adams, have, have you all been to mediation or back to mediation? I don't think so. Okay. Are um, you for permanency or final today? Permanency. Okay. All right. In, unless there's a mediation that, I mean, I'm just seeing in. So I, unless there's a mediation that I didn't know about, but I don't think there was. Okay. If if anyone is aware of a, an MSA, let us know. Otherwise, uh, we will proceed uh, with the permanency hearing. And Ms. Adams, you may call your first. Yes. I'd call Cassie Sawyer. Yes. Miss Sawyer, how's our child doing? Um, AC is doing very great. She's uh, two, almost three this month, um, meeting all of her developmental milestones, up to date on all medical and dental. Um, I don't have any concerns about her. Where is she placed? Um, she is in her uh, maternal uncle's house. Well, yes, but who else does she live with? Um, mom currently resides there as well. Okay. Does mom have unsupervised access to her? Yes. All right. And is everything going just amazingly well? Yes. Has mom completed all of her services? Yes. And um, what is the goal? Um, right now, our goal is family unification to mom. Okay. In regards to Mr. Carver, does he have any services left to work? Um, yes. We're missing a couple. What are they? Um, individual therapy, 
And um, there's one assessment that was recommended on a psychological that he's not able to complete because of his bond conditions, restricting access to the child, but that's the parent-child attachment assessment. Okay. Do they have to be in the same room? Yes. Um, are, does the department still have concerns based on the allegations in this case and the behavior of Mr. Carver in this case um, with any type of reunification with him? Yes. And what are those concerns generally? Um, safety concerns of the child, how she received her injuries, the physical abuse, um, domestic violence within the home. Okay. Is it in the best interest of the child for the department to remain the temporary managing conservator? Yes. Um, and is she doing great in her placement? Yes. Does she have any, is she up to date on all of her medical and dental? Um, yes, yeah, she is pending some dental work, uh, but we have to wait till she's three because it's going to require general anesthesia. And is she on any psychotropic medication? No. Does she go to daycare? Um, she just recently started. And how's that going? It's going very well. Wonderful. Pass the witness. All right. Thank you, Ms. Purdue Wheeler. Thank you, Judge. Mimi stated that my client has finished all of her services. Is that correct? Yes. And are we on a monitored return with the mother? No. Why not? Um, the department is not looking at closing out as a non-suit. Is that a requirement? This might not be a question you're able to answer, but is that a requirement in order to uh, grant a monitored return to the mother? Um, I can't answer that. Um, but you stated that y'all have no concerns with the mother and her baby. No. All right. No further questions. All right. Thank you, Ms. Moore. Um, has Mr. Carver verified a stable income with you? No. Okay. Uh, has he verified a safe and stable housing? No. Okay. So on, are those on his family plan of service? Yes. So he needs to do those as well. Yes. Okay. Um, as far as communication, and you'll have to bear with me because I still do not have a copy of the family plan of service. So as far as his, his communication goes, what is on the family plan of service that he needs to do? Uh, verify income. Safe. Well, no, just on communication. Oh, um, just I don't, he hasn't communicated with us really. Until Objection, non-responsive. What is on his family plan of service as far as requirements for communication? To communicate with the department consistently. Okay, define consistently for me, please. At least once a month. Okay. Um, does it say one time per month on the family plan of service or are you just defining that word for me? I was defining it in my aspect. I'm not sure the exact wording on the family plan. If that wording is not on the family plan, would you be opposed to the court uh, ordering an amended family plan that includes that specific language of one time per month? I'm not opposed. Okay. Um, going forward, as far as his communication, you understand that I need to be included on all communication, correct? Yes. Okay, so you're not prohibited from communicating with him. You just need to add me to it. Is that understood? Now, moving forward, yes. Okay. Um, the individual therapy that you talked about has a 2054 been sent? Um, I, I believe so. Okay, who would that be with? Behavioral Solutions. And do you have the information for him to contact and get that set up? Yes, he has that already. Did you personally give it to him? Yes. Okay. When was that? Um, he's been provided it several times over the last two and a half years. Objection, non-responsive. When did you specifically give him the family plan of service that has that information? Or just that information? um when the case first came in so okay hold on were you on the case when the first ca case first came in right well like a month afterwards 
Okay. So since you've been on the case, you gave it to him in the beginning? Yes. Okay. Um, how long has that been? I don't even know what month we're in. So you just got to bear with me. A, uh, a couple years. <laughs> okay. So a couple of years ago, you gave it to him. Um, so it's possible he may not have that anymore, right? No, I've given it to him this year too. Even if you gave it to him last week, it's possible he lost it, right? Yes. Could you please send a text message to him, copy me on it, and give him that information to be able to set up individual therapy and make sure that a 2054 is sent? Yes. Okay. The recommendation from the psychological uh, assessment that he does a parent-child attachment evaluation, um, because he is not legally permitted to participate in that service, are you willing to amend your service plan so that he does not have to complete that service until such time that he is able to legally complete that service? Yes. Okay. Um, how soon do you think you can get an amended service plan filed? Um, within a couple of days. Okay. Is there anything else on the family plan of service that he needs to do? We've got verify income and housing, communicate consistently, individual therapy. If he's legally permitted to do that assess attachment assessment, he will. Of course, he needs to continue to drug test. Anything else? That's correct. Okay, so there's nothing else outside of that? No. Okay, pass the witness. All right, thank you, Ms. Iverson. Um, are there any current concerns for the safety of mom due to father? Yes. What are those concerns? Uh, domestic violence. So they don't live together now, correct? Correct. But but you, there are concerns that he would do what? Um, cause harm to mom or the child. And it, as to your knowledge, is he unaware of their location? Mm, he knows where they're at. I'll back the witness. All right, thank you. Is there a protective order in place? Do you know, Ms. Sauer? Um, I know they have been working on it. I do not think it's fully gone through yet. All right. All right. Uh, back to you, Ms. Adams. Um, Cassie, by they, do you mean the the district attorney's office of Chambers County or us? Not not us, the district's attorney of Chambers. Okay. Pass witness. All right. Thank you. Any other questions of Ms. Sauer? All right. Thank you. Ms. Adams, you may call your next, if any. No further witnesses, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Ms. Uh, Pardue-Wheeler? Judge, I don't think there's a need to call my client. I mean, she's... All right. She can button taking names, so... Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, Ms. Moore? No, Any witnesses. Wit All right, thank you. And uh, Ms. Iverson? I'll call Costa. All right. And when have you last seen AC? I saw her last on April the 22nd. And how is she doing? She's doing great. Do you explain in what ways? She's, um, she's, um, she's being taught to be bilingual. She's, um, she's very playful. She's a very happy little child. She's just doing really great. She's attending daycare now as well. And she, is she very bonded with her placement? Very much so. And, and would you say she considers the other children in the home to be her, her full true siblings? Yes. And how proud of mom are you? How's she doing? Mom's doing great too. She's, um, she's very attentive to both of her children and she's recently started working. She's, she's doing great. I have no concerns at all. And obviously they're very bonded, the mom and, yes. and the child. Very bonded. Do you, do you feel comfortable with the current living, con uh, not conditions, situation, living arrangement? I do. There's a lot of family support you there. Yes. Uh, is there anything you'd change about it even if you could? No, I think she's doing a great job. Do you have concerns about dad? I have not been able to ever speak with dad, so I really couldn't speak on that. Um, 
we've never been allowed access to him. Would you recommend any kind of visitation between dad and, and, and the child? At this time, I wouldn't. Is there anything else you'd like the court to know? Um, no, that's it. I'll pass the witness. Thank you, Ms. Adams. No question, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. Ms. Purdue Wheeler. Nothing, Judge. Okay, thank you, Ms. Moore. Um, I don't know, Judge. Okay, thank you. Um, back to you, Ms. Iverson. Any other witnesses? Thank you, Ms. Holloway. Thank you. No, sir, nothing further. Okay. All right. Uh, any Anything else from anyone else? Yes, I do have a request. So I have requested um, information from the department on this case. And the only thing that I have gotten, except for Mr. Watson, just sent me the family plan of service. And I did get the uh, last permanency report. But the only thing I've gotten is the order appointing me um, and the order retaining the case on the court's docket. Uh, I would request the court order the department to turn over what they have. Um, I do think that they've made a request for the redacted records. I don't know if it's back yet. I hope they've made that request because I asked for that as well. But not having anything but just three documents in this case limits my ability to effectively represent this client. Well, what about um, Ms. Savage's file? Uh, Ms. Mitchell is working on that. Um, it is going to be some time before that entire file is going to uh, be over to me. But she is in the process of working on that. Okay. Well, let me let me make sure that um, Ms. Adams that I've ordered an expedited uh, redaction. Um, so I'm I'm inclined to set uh, set you off for final trial on uh, July the second. I believe it is. Judge, I have not filed a vacation letter yet, but I will be out of the country. And I, I said the second, I believe the first, July the first. Um, I'm out the last week of June and the first week of July. Okay. My only request as far as a trial judge would be to give me as much time as possible, because from what I understand, at least from being told from different people, this case has been going on for multiple years. And I have a lot of information to get caught up on, a lot of evidence to find, a lot of witnesses to interview. And I think we still have a standing jury demand. And that I can't is, speak to that until that I... Is, that is all correct. See the record, so. Is there... I believe all except maybe one party was ready to waive that. I don't know if that is... That party being your more client. Well, that that is that's my, that's my recollection too. And unfortunately, you guys, until I'm able to see the evidence in the case, I can't make any recommendations to my client on anything. Right. I I am likely to send you all back to mediation. I will certainly hear uh, arguments, if any, against that. But I, I don't I'm have an argument against. I'm okay, not a post so judge, but again, I can't do that until I have records. I understand. I understand. We we have a dismissal date, though. What's that? I don't know that date. Again, alas, well, it's uh, August the third. But but bear with me just a moment, please. Let me tell you all, all what what I plan to do. Um, Um, obviously, we are in uh, a general extension at a, a previous hearing uh, I took under advisement um, the mother's motion for a monitored return. Um, what I did in lieu of that at that time, as you might recall, is to um, place the child with the mother 
uh, finding that the mother's uh, residence uh, was with the um, uh, maternal um, uncle and his wife and family. And there were some conditions uh, were she to have um, sought to change uh, her residence. I think you all recall all of that. So what I'm going to do is um, on our next docket, which is 6-3, June the 3rd, that's our usual uh, monthly docket. I'm going to um, reconsider that motion. I'm also going to hold a pretrial. And we'll also do kind of a progress slash perm. Now, part of me is inclined to order monitor to return today. And frankly, uh, the reason I don't do that is when I order a monitored return, it changes, as you know, the dismissal date, but it changes it relative to the date I order it, not like a general extension, which changes it from the original dismissal date. So what I'm what I'm implying is I think we might actually need the extra month or two. So that's why I'm forbearing doing that today. Does that make sense? Um, so I will reconsider the mother's motion for a monitored return on June the 3rd. Uh, I will set the final trial uh, because I have to have a trial setting docketed. I will set that for July the 15th at 9 a.m., I'll also reconsider or revisit the question of mediation at our June the 3rd um, setting. Is that at Mount also? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. So next setting, June the 3rd. Um, and then final trial, uh, I have continued to July the 15th. Again, right now, our dismissal date is August the 3rd, uh, 2024. Certainly, that would change if I grant the monitored return. So, uh, again, that 6-3 date is also for a pretrial um, for you all to bring me up to speed on uh, what all you need uh, before the trial. Okay. So uh, for the purposes of today's hearing, uh, the court finds that the mother is compliant, that the father is partially compliant. Um, so all of the temporary orders, uh, the court hereby continues. Now, any, anything else from anyone else? Yes, Judge, I just wanna make sure we have an order for records. For the redacted record. Ms. Adams, any objection to my ordering the redacted records if I haven't already done so? We made a request on April the 19th. <laughs> will is following up on that to see where, where we are. So they we're hoping that they will be very, very come very shortly. We've also, um, and I say we, not me, but like the department has also just forwarded Ms. Moore um all of the documents um we previously forwarded them to her she must not have received them um mm -hmm. there's the emails um and we're gonna work and get her all the things that she needs to catch up because this has been going on a very long time yes judge they did i just received 42 documents <laughs> okay all right thank you all anything else from anyone else all right Okay, um, parents, remember that if at the end of this case, if you're not willing and able to provide a safe environment for your child, your parental rights may be further restricted or even terminated uh, permanently. Uh, I know you all understand that. I know you don't want it to happen, so keep working your services. Uh, the court does, uh, moreover, find that the mother is willing and able uh, 
and is providing a safe environment for the child. Okay. All right. So thank you all very much. Um, and um, probably one of the first things I'll ask on the third is if you all have reached an informal agreement uh, that would short circuit everything. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, you all are excused. Thank you very much. Take care. Thanks. Lindsay is with us. Uh, the mother is with us. <clears throat> so okay. um, did, uh, did you all want to visit Ms. Adams? We can, Your Honor. Um, I, I don't believe Miss Aga wants her child back at this time or has any other place to put her. So, Okay. Well, why don't I give you all, let's say, five minutes. If you need more, um, uh, let me know. But uh, let me just give you all five minutes if I can place you uh, and Ms. Lindsay and Ms. Aga in a breakout room, adversary hearing. Uh, Ms. Aga is... Uh, um, still present, uh, the court notes, um, and uh, we have Ms. Lindsay as well. Uh, so my understanding, Ms. Aga, is that you might have a request? Yes, Your Honor, I do. I wanted to request an attorney if possible. Okay, and uh, can you can you not afford an attorney? No, at this time, no, I cannot, sir. I okay. just recently started employment about two weeks ago. Um, and although, uh, there's just certain regards of this case that I'm not in compliance with, like termination of parental rights, um, okay, that's good. not my goal. Okay. Very good. So, uh, based on that, then I'm going to, uh, swear you in and, uh, ask questions concerning, uh, your, uh, finances, uh, to determine whether you're unable, uh, to hire an attorney and whether you, uh, qualify in that regard for court appointed attorney. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. All right. And uh, you are mother. You are the mother of the child, the subject of this suit, whose initials are A E A. Yes, Your Honor. And is her date of birth um, May yes, the twelfth? Yes, Your 12th? Honor. Okay. And um, are you currently? Tell me about your employment. Um, I just recently started um, with a new job. It was a lengthy process of getting background checks and drug testing. Um, so although I had gotten an offer in March, I didn't start until late May, uh, late April, excuse me. Um, and it's a biweekly pay period. Um, I make $20 an hour. I do have another child at home who's six years old. And who, if anyone else, lives in your household? I currently stay with my sister. Okay. And uh, prior to uh, the application and interview process with this new job, um, prior to that, were you employed? Um, well, when I had moved to the Chambers County area, I was seeking employment for a while, but couldn't find anything. Um, before that, I was living in West Texas and Midland County, and I was employed at that time. Yes, Your Honor. So between the two, um, what was the period of your unemployment? From July of 2023 until April of 2024. Okay. And um, do you uh, currently receive any um, government assistance? I do. Okay. Tell me what all that uh, entails. Um, I receive food stamps and I receive... Um, Medicaid for myself and my children. Okay. Now, do you own any property? No, Your Honor. Okay. Do you have any funds or means uh, to hire an attorney presently? No, Your Honor. Other than uh, allowing you and your child to live with her, um, does your sister help you out in any other regards? As far as financially? Yes. No, Your Honor. Okay. Does um, does she charge you rent, for example? Um, we So she doesn't charge me rent, um, but we do buy our separate groceries and provide our own meals. Um, and we split like utility bills. Okay. Because that's what went up when I moved in, if that makes any sense. It does. So what would you say... Um, being as, as 
accurate as possible. What are your monthly expenses? How much are your monthly? Um, monthly, I would say between six hundred and fifty and seven hundred dollars because I do pay for car insurance as well. Okay. Now, do you have any other sources of of income? I'm supposed to be receiving child support for my son. It's supposed to be ninety eight dollars and sixty cents a week, but that's hit or miss. It depends on if I do or don't get it. Okay. And uh, that's uh, your son is the six year old whom you referred to. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Let me see if Ms. Uh, Adams and or Ms. Lindsay has any questions on this issue. I do not, Your Honor. Okay. Hey, thank you, Ms. Lindsay. And no, Judge. I don't have any questions. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. At this time, uh, the court does find uh, that Ms. Uh, Aga does uh, qualify for court appointed attorney. Um, and uh, the court would find a good cause to depart. Uh, from the usual means of appointment by way of the wheel or the list and appoint um, from the bench, as it were. Ms. Uh, Pardue Wheeler, are you ready, willing, and able um, to take the appointment of uh, Ms. Aga? Yes, Judge, happy to. Okay, so having found that she does qualify, the court would appoint uh, Courtney Pardue Wheeler uh, to represent the mother in this case. So, okay, uh, do we want to visit some more or do we want to consider a reset? I'll just kind of globally ask that, Ms. Adams. I think that's um, a Miss Pardue Wheeler question. She knows it is. <laughs> um, I mean, Department currently has custody of the child, correct? Correct. I'll just say. Um, I think probably a reset would be fine. I don't mind jumping into a room and chatting with everyone. I obviously haven't had a chance to speak with my client that I didn't know was not my client earlier. Um, <laughs> why, so. don't, why don't I give you all a chance to talk? Okay. Um, and so I can, I can give you... Uh, you, you do have some kind of sense or frame of reference of what's going on. Why don't I give you all 10 minutes and um, we can come back, see if see if there is an agreement, see if we want to have a hearing later this afternoon or reset it. The only thing is um, our next usual docket is not until June the 6th. I think that's going to June the 3rd rather. And so that's going to mess with some of our deadlines. So uh, I'll need to uh, find a courtroom or something like that if, if we if we don't uh, hear it today, whether it's agreed or not. And Judge, I just have a brief request because I have to go back in trial at one. Oh, um, <laughs> so I'm sitting in my car. I'm here in Brazoria in trial. And so, I mean, if, if there is an agreement, if, if maybe we could, they could let me know quickly. And then I'll just kind of try to step out again <laughs> to get back on. Okay, so we'll, um, Ms. Pardue Wheeler, let me give you all 10 minutes to, to visit. Hey, Judge, we're back. Sorry, Lindsay, I know you're on a crunch. Um, short version is we do not agree to TMC, um, and we are oh, very okay with being willing to reset this to the June docket date um, because there's a lot of stuff we need to kind of, evidence in terms of evidence, get together and prepare. I don't think we would be able to do that for this afternoon. So if, if the department's fine with agree, with being willing to agree to extend a longer emergency order, we are oh, That's too. not a problem. All right. And Ms. Lindsay, are you okay with that? Yes, Judge, I am. Okay, very good. Yeah, the series so hereby reset to June the 3rd at 9 a.m. The court also uh, extends the emergency temporary orders in TMC with the department um, and uh, their uh, choice of placement until that date and time. All right. Anything else from anyone else? No, Your Honor. Okay, all right. Um, Ms. Croft? Your Honor, I would like the courts to know that um, I did meet up with mom over the weekend and, and um, I picked up clothes that mom had purchased for the child and I did take the clothes um, to the child yesterday during my visit. Okay, very good. That's good to have. That's good to know. And thank you for uh, for that work uh, and effort, Ms. Croft, and, and that report. 
Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. All right. Um, I believe that concludes the docket. Um, and um, Ms. Lindsay, thank you uh, for your patience too. My apologies. Thank you. And thank everybody for their patience. <laughs> uh, my apologies to the trial judge. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we are excused. Uh, have a great rest of your week. And we'll see some of you maybe down the line this week. All right. Have a great day. Thank you, Judge. Ms. Ar